So instead of uh, returning uh, just uh, a string like this from our uh, route or our controller, instead of returning uh, just a simple string or uh, a view like this, uh, uh, like this case here, instead of that we can uh, returning. Uh, uh, Laravel can return uh, HTTP response with all the features like uh, response code uh, and the setting uh, cookie uh, and also a setting response header. So let's uh, let's see this one now this uh, response. Okay, uh, return. Uh, 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 HTTP response. Okay. Okay. As usual, we use the class route. Get. Let's name our uh, URI uh, um, slash my response. Okay, and for the anonymous uh, function here uh, let's returning a response object return response and this response will you will uh, return in a uh, 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 an object response. Uh, this object have uh, many function uh, chained on it, like uh, the header and also the cookie. Okay. For the response. Uh, uh, we will uh, just uh, returning our uh, uh, response here our response we want to return it, it is our uh, variable here holding all our uh, uh, posts so as first parameter the posts array and uh, for second parameter is uh, the type of uh, response code we got we get it um, here let's type in for example uh, 200 or 201 for uh, success uh, we have also for uh, redirect uh, response uh, uh, a number a code starting with uh, 300 uh, to 399 um, also for a server error we have uh, the code starting for 500 to 599 so if you want to take uh, any idea about all the code existing for HTTP response uh, just visit this uh, this page here I will mention in the description so for informational response uh, from uh, 100 to 199 for successful responses from 200 to 299 for redirect from 300 to 399 uh, client errors from 400 to 499 and uh, servers uh, error from uh, 500 to 599 so you can take an idea from this uh, link uh, let's continue so for our uh, header here, uh, take also two parameters. Uh, we can uh, specify uh, a type. For example, we can return HTTP content header or uh, JSON response. Uh, so uh, let's specify uh, content type. As a, as a second parameter, let's specify application uh, JSON. Uh, 
as a content let's format this uh, on. and uh, for cookie here uh, we set uh, we setting a uh, cookie to uh, for example this cookie uh, we use uh, as uh, like an option uh, like uh, in, in form uh, remember me uh, checkbox or um, in uh, in uh, e-commerce website uh, we need this cookie to just to store uh, information about our uh, cart or also we can uh, use this cookie to uh, uh, register um, a session in our browser so we name our uh, cookie here uh, uh, for example uh, the cookie as a value just uh, Laravel eight tutorial and as expiration just uh, three thousand six hundred. Okay, seconds. Mm, here we name this. Uh, route like um, my response okay now just copy this URI go back to our website and just to 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 see how uh, we get uh, oh, for our uh, page not found so here uh, as you can see here we have to uh, time slash uh, and divine variable yes all right uh, we have to uh, as usual using the use uh, statement use our uh, dollar post uh, array posts array okay let's see now okay we get uh, as expected the, our uh, json uh, response but let's check here in the network network tab here let's uh, see uh, all uh, the response okay this response here uh, this one we get as expected uh, the status code uh, HTTP code of 201 created success okay if you click here uh, you can see the content type uh, we specify here is uh, application JSON and also uh, we set our cookie to the cookie here is encrypted here the cookie here so here uh, we saw how to customize our response how to set uh, a custom uh, header cookie and response uh, so I hope this uh, video will help you to understand Laravel 8 uh, response if you like the video please like subscribe and share uh, and bye